What is up, guys? Giuseppe here, back for another news roundup video. So today, I wanted to bring you a physique update from the 2022 Mr. Olympia. Adi Chuban. Look at this. So this is off the back of the Pittsburgh Pro. You see, Hadi says here, I am Hadi Chuban, the Persian wolf, the body of the golden years. He tags his sponsor there, Evagen Nutrition. Now, this is probably in response to last weekend's Pittsburgh Pro, where many of the top bodybuilders guest posed there at the show, the likes of Big Rami, Derek Lunsford, Samson Dowda, Hunter Labrada, Nick Walker, and all those guys. But of course, Hadi, being from Iran, isn't able to get into the country. So he's just making sure nobody's forgetting about him here. We see him hit a most muscular pose. Look at that. Still super sharp, great condition, considering he's in his off season. He says here, go back to the house of playful children, run, go home, run. I don't think, to be honest, that he speaks very good English. I'm sure he just used Google Translate to get his point across, but I don't think he wants anyone to forget about him. Here's another physique update from him. His back is looking really thick, cool. He gets into a back double bicep, I believe. Oh, no, rear lat spread. Looking pretty damn good. So that's a recent update from our Mr. Olympia, Hadi Chupan. I expect him to be up there defending his title come November. Certainly going to be the favorite to win. Someone's going to have to knock him off his perch. Next up, I wanted to bring you a physique update from Justin Shire. Now, Justin is 10 weeks out from the Chicago Pro. He shows us here a front relaxed and a front double bicep. He looks like he's on track. His condition is pretty damn good, 10 weeks out. He has lines in his quads. Arms are big. The waist is shrinking, flaring lats from the front. He's not really missing anything. He has crazy proportions. And he certainly is going to be in the running for the win at the Chicago Pro in 10 weeks' time. Next up, we have a, we have a physique update from his main competition in the Chicago Pro. Blessing Awuribu, the boogeyman. Let's see if this year is the year he can bring the BBE. Last year... Blessing won two pro shows, the New York Pro and the Indie Pro, his first two pro wins. This year, he's looking to get back redemption after not placing in the top 15 in last year's Olympia. Lots of questions and doubts regarding his legs as his biggest weakness, but we see that that imbalance has come up. He has the one leg that's a little bit smaller than the other, but... The legs, the quads look much, much better than what we saw from him at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. He's a very aesthetic guy, little bitty waist, huge upper body. That's never been a doubt for him. Now, since the Olympia, he's no longer working with George Farah. He's coaching himself. So we'll see what kind of condition he can bring to this year's Chicago Pro. Blessing will be doing the Chicago, the Tampa, and the Texas. He's going three for three. I interviewed him over at the Arnold earlier this year, and he says that's the goal. Go three for three, bring it to the Olympia, and bring that BBE. All right, next up in the news, we have a physique update from Ross Flanagan, the owner of Flavor Gang. I showed you guys a physique update from him last week. So here he says he is one and two weeks out of the Cal Pro, Cali Pro, excuse me. Next weekend, remember, Tony O'Burton and Beef Stew are doing that show. And he's two weeks out from the Toronto Pro. Um, Ian Valier is the favorite going into that one, and also Hassan Mustafa. So we see he post a rear double bicep shot here. He's pretty much he's ready. I mean, he's just cruising the show now. The back is stripped, glutes are in, the hamstrings are peeled. 
Everything looks so put together. He works with Dominic Cardone. You can see he also posts here a rear lat spread. He he's has a pretty damn impressive physique. He also posts a transition going into his side chest. See the side leg with the hamstring drop. Huge quads. Super round. Full. Big chest. Big delts. He doesn't have too many weaknesses. I mean, last year, his main weaknesses were his glutes and his back, but he's looked to have brought those up. So, yeah, he's going to be one of the top contenders going into the Cal Pro. I'm sure he's going to win the show, but in all honesty, I think Tony O'Burton will have too much for him. Realistically, I think he could finish top three. So next up, I want to show you guys a physique update from the 2023 Arnold Classic champion, Ramon Dino. So Ramon, you see here, he's super round, full. In my opinion, this is a much better look to anything he's brought on stage. Obviously, he's not in contest condition, but he's much fuller, much rounder. And it's because he doesn't have the burden of the weight cap. Here he says he's weighing it at 114 kilos. That is 14 kilos heavier than his stage weight. Obviously, he has to make his stage weight of 100 kilos, so that's 220 pounds. So here he's coming in at 250, and he's right about 6 foot, maybe just under that. In my opinion, he looks fantastic here. You see he's bursting full, still in great condition. Still has abs. Oh my god, look at this. He's pulling a front double bicep with the vacuum, and he still has abs. That's absolutely insane here from Ramon. So yeah, he's coming in at 250 pounds. He doesn't have a whole lot of weight to play with in the weight cap. So we'll have to see what he can do going into this year's Mr. Olympia. Obviously, last year he finished... Runner up to Chris Bumstead. It's going to be really hard to beat him because Chris still has room to grow. Ramon, he's at his he's at his cap. So yeah. Those are the updates for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more content content. Excuse me. And I'll see you guys next time. We're out.